Bridge News, which owns a plethora of over-the-air TV stations across the United States, has begun to heavily use the AVC, or H.264 video codec, after TV stations. The station that they own in Buffalo, New York, WBXELD, has 14 virtual channels on their single RF channel. Of those 14 channels, 13 of them are in AVC, leaving only a single channel in MPEG-2 video, which is a requirement from the FCC. The DOT1 channel is 720p and is using MPEG-2 video at around 5 megabits per second. The remaining channels are all AVC, like stated earlier, and are a mix of 480i and 480p, with bit rates hovering around 1.5 megabits per second on average. You can take a look at the technical information I acquired using Using TS Reader on my website by visiting wnyovertheair.com forward slash wbxz ld or by visiting the link in the description below. I was happy to see that a lot of the channels were actually in 480p instead of 480i, but my enthusiasm for such a low resolution in a progressive scan unfortunately shows the state of over the air TV broadcasts in the United States. There's a good chance that a bridge news broadcast is available in your area. Visit the link in the description below to see all of the stations Bridge News owns and where they're located. This was the first ever use of AVC for over-the-air TV broadcasts in the Buffalo market and may also be the first in many other markets. I've been a strong advocate for the use of AVC with ATSE 1.0 and I'm glad that we're finally seeing some major progress towards dropping the incredibly antiquated MPEG-2 video codec. Unfortunately, other attempts to use AVC have been unsuccessful due to complaints about there being no picture displaying on some older TV sets. As you'll see later in the video, you have to be using some really, really old equipment for it to be incompatible with AVC broadcasts. To all of the broadcasters out there, please use AVC and don't let a handful of people hanging on to old technology and stuck in their ways dictate whether or not your station uses AVC. A $25 box from Amazon connected to the TV with compatibility issues would mitigate the issue. In this video, I'll be testing out all of the TVs at a house in the Buffalo, New York market to see what TVs support the AVC codec and which ones don't. All right, so the first TV that I'm testing out, I got around my freshman year of high school, believe it or not. I saved up for it. I got a really good deal on it. This is the 2018 Samsung NU7200 50-inch TV. I'm not really surprised that when I go to the AVC subchannels here, as you can see, they come in perfectly fine. And this TV is a seven-year-old TV, and it's playing perfectly fine, as you can see. So it recognizes that this is a 480p channel. If I go to the next one, the next one here is in 480i, and it recognizes that as a 480i uh, AVC channel. And all of these work perfectly fine, all the way up to the very last one here, these all come in perfectly fine using the ABC codec. So not really a surprise with this one. Let's move on to some other TVs in the house. All right, so this is a Vizio TV circa like 2015. I think it's the mid 2010s around 2015. This is the dot one channel of WBXE. Let's see if this one from 2015, a whole 10 years ago, a TV that's 10 years old, will this work with ABC? Let's go to the next sub channel here which is an AVC, and look at that, it's playing perfectly fine. This TV actually has a really, really bad ATSE 1.0 tuner in it, so even with a cheap low-end TV that has a really bad tuner in it, it still even knows what AVC is. It's actually a glitch. It thinks that they're all 480i when in reality they're not, so that is a glitch, but other than that, uh, they're all coming in perfectly fine. So let's check out some other TVs in the house. All right, this is a Samsung Smart TV. This is before they had the Tison OS. This is the old style Samsung TV with the uh, the smart hub in the middle of the remote. And this is from 2014. So will this TV from 11 years ago be able to play back ABC channels? And as you can see, 56-2 is coming in perfectly fine. Same with the AVC 480p channel, and all of these are coming in perfectly fine.
All right, now this is the oldest TV that we have in the house that has an ATSC 1.0 tuner in it. This is from 2009. So this TV is 16 years old. It's so old, the picture quality is so bad and the audio sounds like a tin can that we don't even use it. It's basically an artifact hanging on the wall that we just still haven't even taken down. And sure enough, when we go to play the channel, the MPEG-2 video channel does display, but the AVC channel does not display. There's no audio that even plays so it just is omitting the entire uh both video and audio streams it's still able to decode all of the tv guide data that's sent over the air but again we're not even using this tv i think this shows that most people that have even relatively older tvs will still be able to play back avc perfectly fine what do you guys think of the results do your tv support avc and is there an avc station in your area let me know down in the comment section below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video